Good morning, good evening, and good afternoon to viewers from all walks of life. This is Denzimus, and you are welcome to the channel of truth, enlightenment, freedom, and the channel of breaking empire free. If you are new on this channel, I talk about narcissism and narcissistic abuse. I talk about spirituality and I talk about personal and self-development. And if that's what resonates with you, I invite you guys to join us, give us a like, share this video with friends, and you may subscribe if you haven't already. And for those that have always been with us, you are welcome back and I thank you for your love and support. We have started a new week and I wish everybody the best of 2024. For the ones that have survived narcissistic abuse, I still congratulate you all. For the ones that are still stuck with the narcissist, I pray for you and I hope one day you're going to be free sooner or later. In today's video, I would further want to talk about the healing journey. So the guys that are you have been discarded or you have discarded the narcissist either way you're going to perform you're going to move towards healing and you're going to start working on yourself okay so there's a lot of things to to do there is so much work to do and like we always know it is not easy okay so all of us who have been in that abuse we know we do know that it is not easy let me move this thing a little bit so this is something you are going to have to, uh, uh, you're going to have to do, okay? You're going to have to do somewhere, somehow, because at the end of the day, you are the person that is going to do the healing work, okay? The only thing that we do, um, we guide you, we help you, we coach you, we teach you, so that you can be able to get back on your feet, okay? But at the end of the day, like I've said, you are the person that is actually going to make the moves, okay? There is no coach, doctor, therapist, or whatever that is going to move along with you. They are going to guide you, like I've said. But you're going to have to do the work, okay? So you're the one who's going to put in the work. Fortunately, some of us have done that thing by ourselves. We have done the healing by ourselves. I personally had to figure out uh, back in the days when I was starting my journey, so many things on my own. Okay, I would get some guidance online, of course, uh, from different survivors that have been in this abuse. And I would also improvise in some situations because it is not like everything was laid out on the on, on, on the plain sheet of paper for me that, okay, so this is where you're going to go or that's what you're going to do. So I took some guidance uh, uh, from some people. <clears throat> and some other cases I had to improvise because in that time I realized the only way that I would get out of this energy was to putting a lot of focus on myself, okay? So that was the exact time when I uh, discovered spirituality. I discovered that I'd, I'd, always been, actually, I'd always been a spiritual person, even if, like I've told you, I've been in, uh, I've grown up a Christian all my life, but I discovered that actually there's so many things I could do on my own by myself. I do not tell you that you're supposed to do what I did. I could give you some guidance in so many things, but you may decide to follow the path that is going to be easy for you. There are some people that have been broken so much that actually they need help, okay? So they need to get some, you know, like, some people may have to get to get counseling, some people may have to go through some sessions with different coaches or whatever, therapists. So if that's what works for you, you can also do that. And of course, remember that you can always pray. As a spiritual person, I have my own way of praying, but you may be a religious person as well. You can also do the, uh, the prayers in your own religious way, if that's what you feel comfortable with. Like I've told you guys, I do not have any issues with religion, even if I'm not a really religious person. Everybody can handle this thing in their own way that actually works for them. If something doesn't work, you can always improvise and try something else. Because like I've said, there is no direct means and there's no direct procedure to healing. There are some things you can do to start your healing journey. But everybody is going to be different because we have all been dealing with different types and different categories of these personalities, okay? Now, the narcissist, first of all, um, is very important to know as well, which I think you already do. They never had any uh, good intentions for you. So they had 
the narcissist had a mission, like I've said, to break you down, which most likely they have done because you, struggle, you, you will usually start to recognize that you've been very deeply broken when you decide at one point to step out of a narcissistic abusive relationship, entanglement, or maybe it's family members or whatever. You know what I mean? Now, most of the times the coaches have told you, ladies and gentlemen, to go no contact. One of the biggest elements for me and for the most people that I know that have done the healing work, we have had to, at some point, especially in the beginning of the discard, at the beginning of the discard, we have had to go no contact, okay? This no contact helps you and uh, protects you from the narcissist because it is the only way you can be able to detach further and further, even emotionally, from these people. You will usually start, of course, by detaching physically, but me personally, I remember by the time I go the, uh, I went through the discard, I'm talking about the final discard, I had already checked out emotionally from this person, okay? So the only thing that was remaining in those next couple of days, I think it was like two or three days, it was just left for me to physically uh, remove myself uh, from this situation so that I can go on my healing journey. You have to understand, ladies and gentlemen, the narcissists want to see you in your worst state. They want to see you crying. They want to see you broken. They want to see you very vulnerable. They want to see you suffering. Sometimes you may get uh, cases where you will see, excuse me, you will get cases where you will see the narcissist is telling people, you have always been the problem. Look at him, he's over there crying. Look at him, he's over. I, I remember seeing some pictures back in the days when the narcissist actually would record me some of the times when I was in my worst state, okay? This is what the narcissist wants to see. They want to see you in pain, they want to see you in fear, they want to see you in resentment, they want to see you in the worst state possible because like we guys, we guys already know that these people, they feed off of that kind of energy, okay? So they, they like to see people who are deeply suffering. Now, the reason why we usually tell you to go no contact, actually I've even advised some people you really need to stay away from social media, okay? You have got to stay away from social media, especially if those individuals, they know your social media pages and everything, which of course they do, because you've been with them for a very long period of time. So they know your Facebook accounts, they know your Instagram accounts, they know whatever, maybe if you have a TikTok or whatever, they know all your online accounts. So most of the times what I would advise when you've started a healing journey for yourself, at least even for the first three months, you need to deactivate those accounts. It is very important, ladies and gentlemen, deactivate those accounts. Don't give them access because we already know that those people are going to be stalking you afterwards. They are going to keep on coming around uh, secretly, sneaking into your social media accounts and checking what you're doing online and the things like that, what you're posting and the things like that. So they want to keep an update on how you're doing with yourself because remember that they are waiting for you to get somewhere on your healing journey so that they can find a way to sneak back into your lives, okay? So do not let that happen. Get away from social media, okay? Because usually post-discard in the first, I could say, weeks or months of discard, because of the pain that you're still going through and the traumatic experiences that you've had, a lot of people are going to start posting these sorrow stories or this and what, the breakup and this and that, you know, posting a lot of stuff about yourself. Do not post anything. For the first three months as a victim and survivor of narcissistic abuse, I recommend very strongly get away from social media deactivate your accounts for about at least three months and focus very very hard on yourself okay like i've said your healing spot will be your safe zone it will not be your comfortable zone but it will be your safe zone because that is where you're going to start building your life step by step okay you're going to have to start from scratch and the narcissist wants to see the old you they want to see the suffering you. They want to see the one who is in pain. They want to see the one who is crying. They want to see who you're putting out, you're going out there putting the sorrow stories, telling everybody what things, or you know, things that happened, or, you know, you're telling all these people, mutual friends and family members, what usually happened with you, and all these kind of things. And when they are tapping into that conversation, is giving them some kind of fuel, okay? You detach from the narcissist. You go and work on yourself. And you're supposed to do this in an environment where you do not have access to those individuals. So I'm assuming that at this point, you have blocked them and you no longer have, they no longer have access to you. So they, they, do not, they don't even know where to find you. When I was moving away from the narcissist, I remember that in the first three months, actually, 
I kept my uh, healing spot for myself. I did not tell them where I was living at that time. I didn't want them to come around stalking and driving around and checking and, and, and things like that. So I made sure that I closed that door and I made sure that I did not tell them where I was in that moment. So I was very, very desperate for this healing to happen. Okay, especially for the, for the most of you guys who have got children, you have got to get to that point whereby you're desperate to heal. Okay, healing is the only one which is going to drive you and put you in a better position in life. Okay, so don't show the narcissist if the, if the time ever comes because of course after some couple of months you're going to realize that you're doing better you're growing you're doing better you're more healthy more probably you have, you have got your finances together you've got everything together don't try in those moments to have any form of contact with the narcissist because you are going to be showing them the old you okay that is what they wanted to see they don't want to see the healed version of you especially in those first couple of months or whatever could even sometimes take up, take up to a year. Do not show them the old you. Don't let them see the old you. Ladies and gentlemen, I can promise you, the narcissist has not let you go. It is just a matter of time before you're going to see them sneaking back into your life. So they are very comfortable seeing the old you. They do not have anything to do with the new you. So when you go out there, for example, and you've been doing some work on yourself to heal, and they now start to see you growing and doing better without them, it is going to make them feel guilty because now they are going to realize that they were the problem in your life. And they do not want to accept this uh, accountability that they were the problem. They were the biggest problem in your life. So they don't want to see this. When you are healing, it makes them reflect a little bit back into the situation and see. They are going to realize that, oh, actually this person, it seems like they are doing better without me. Okay. They always want to make you uh, stay continuously be the problem they have already told everybody that you are the problem since the since the beginning since day one so when you continue healing you're doing better you're glowing you're shining you're more healthy you're more vibrant you have got more energy at the end of the day they are going to realize actually in the very first case they never deserved you okay so the moment you start to healing and getting to a very a very much more comfortable energy they are going to realize that they were the problem. Even if they will not mention it to anyone, they will always continuously for the rest of their lives blame you that you were the person that was causing the problem. But it is going to become very evident at some point that actually you were never the problem in the first place. Because if you were the problem in the first place, how come that when they left your life and you went out of their lives, you've started doing better for yourselves? Okay? So these people, these narcissists, first of all, remember that I've told you as well, they don't want to see the healed version of you. They don't want to see you healed because it is breaking a narcissist to see you that you're healing. Okay? They will not tell you this, of course, but it is breaking them when they continuously see you doing better without them. So in the first couple of months, I could say between three to one year, between three months to one year, make sure that you secretly work on yourself. Put all the energy you have to work on yourself. Ladies and gentlemen, I can promise you, as a survivor of abuse, you're going to look back in time and you're going to realize that you did a very good decision to let those people go because those people, they were pushing you down the drain, okay? They want to see when you're in a stuck state. You are stuck. There's nothing going on, you know? Probably you're homeless. You don't have anything going on. Maybe you don't have a job or whatever. You, you know, you are in a very, very deep sorry state. That's why they want you to be. So if you keep on showing them that version of you, the same version that you was when you left them, it is going to appear that they are winning, okay? When the narcissist sees you that you cannot heal and you're still broken after, after so many months and after so many years, you're still broken, it is going to give them gratification that actually they have won. When you heal out of that energy and you become the greatest version of yourself, that is when they are going to realize they lost, okay? It is when they want to realize that they want they are the ones who have lost actually they have lost in this entire battle and it is what the nurses doesn't want to do that doesn't want to feel they don't want to feel that energy of like they have lost in this battle because they want to know that they have won so what i'm trying to appeal in this video to the empaths don't try to get too much in contact with these people okay so you may have some children with them like i've said there's so many methods you can do to cooperate with the nurses the gray rocking, we already know that you can do the gray rock, or sometimes you can have very, very limited 
but but if you can if it's possible you may even have to have no contact at all but in case like i've said when there's children minimum contact possible and do not tell them what you're doing any moment you are doing your healing on that healing journey do not let the narcissist what you're doing don't let the narcissist know what you're doing let them not see it you're not posting you're not talking about yourself you're doing that work in silence in complete silence okay so do not worry about the loneliness like i've said it is always going to happen that you're going to be usually very lonely on this journey because you're trying to work on yourself and there's so many things to do so don't let anybody know what you're doing on this journey any moment the narcissist will be seeing the old you it is going to give them gratification that they have won this battle because they was able to break you down and you was never you was never able to get back up on your feet so let them be able to see the new version of you after a certain period of time and i cannot say it's going to be three or six or eight months or whatever but i could say in my case it started showing results my healing journey started showing results in about i could say from a year that's when i started to experience the difference okay i could see the difference even when i could look at my pictures or myself on camera or whatever i could see that i've done some work on myself let that let that be the version that you want the nurses to see that you have healed after all this abuse and everything and enduring so many periods and years of abuse you have still been able to get back on your feet and you've healed and you can actually show them that you're doing better without them that is when they are going to realize they have lost when they see the old version of you it is continuously going to show them they have won don't let the narcissist see that okay so for the most of you guys like i've said on this healing journey that's my message for today i hope your healing journey goes well for you like i've said if you need some help of course on this journey of healing and everything you can always get uh, get in touch with me we can have a session together one-on-one -on -one session and I, I can take you through the process of the things that you can do on your healing journey believe me some of the things may not make a lot of sense but i can promise you within a short period of time you're going to see a very big difference in your life so let us know what you think about this video in the comment section below you guys know that i do love and appreciate your support like I've said, you can book a session. For those of you who want to donate or support my channel, everything you need, you will find it in the description below. And until then, I will catch you guys in my next one. Denzomos signing out. Much love and blessings. Peace.